are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So we are in Maine, in the USA, watching a South African rugby game, drinking South African Savannah that we got in Fort Lauderdale, and doing our Springbokies. And we are rooting for the Springboks, obviously. So, this is to the Springboks. To the Springboks. We're not doing very well at this moment. No, we don't. Cheers. We know how to have fun on this boat. <laughs> Scoop. Springbokies. Why? Because of the green and gold. And good decision making at the back. Um, you know, it always seems as if there's a bit of a, a spark when he touches the ball. But the coach's box for South Africa will definitely be very concerned at this stage. Nothing going there. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Huh? We've now been two days here on Sisu and this is why. Well, that's one reason. Another reason is there's a bar that's running there and only now it's the tide is going up three meters. What's that? About nine feet, ten feet. So it rises with three meters so it goes over the bar but that means we can only now go to town and then we can stay in town for one or two hours and then come back but if it looks like that <laughs> it's not that you can stay somewhere in a bar or a restaurant and say oh we wait the storm out because while we wait for the storm to come out the sea will drop again and we cannot come back. Well, we can come back, so we need to go all the way around Bar Island, which will take around 15 minutes in a dinghy. So you need to be sure that you have enough fuel in your dinghy. So this is the little island of Bar Harbour. And we are at high tide, so that walkway that we showed earlier on goes across here. And there was people that were stranded there last night, so they didn't read the rules. You have to cross when it's low water, otherwise you have to wait for nine hours. So we don't know what happened to them last night. But what a lovely summery day. And we've been here, this is our third day, we're only exploring today. We've been busy with the boat work. And we cannot see the bottom. Very dirty water. Sorry. Just landed and we need now to find <laughs> next to the police and we need to find a place to go out. Oh it looks like there's a rubbish bin so we can bring our rubbish here next time. And there's a Grand Irish pub. This looks like the marine parade here. Ferries coming here. And we've this been to Harbour, how many Bar Town. Irish pubs now since we got to the side of the neck of the woods and we've never had a, a Guinness pie or or they never had it on the menu. No, like no, your typical have, Irish 
fair. They don't have the Irish fair on their menus. Yeah, even the Irish, I think, also like New England. This is New England, right? So <laughs> should be closer than South Africa to Irish pubs. This was a pleasant, pleasant bar. Very good fish and chips. Very big fish and chips. Oops. Chick, 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 chick. Run, 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 forest, run. Okay. This is a very pretty town. On our way back to Tipex, hopefully we can get some light. Because there's so many lobster pots. But it's still so beautiful and the town is getting more and more people and yeah look at that moose above the lobsters okay so we arrived over there is Tipex but now you can see the dilemma there's the bar we cannot get people's walking there, so obviously we cannot go across the Tipex. So we need to go now all the way around that Bar Island to that site over there. So we need to go around. So Petra is using the light from Adrian and it's working quite well. Thank you, Adrian, one of our patrons that sponsored the light. And we can actually see the lobster spots way ahead of time to avoid them. So, a friend from South Africa said we can tie up there. Because we're not allowed to tie up at the city docks. And the city docks, because there's fireworks uh, for tonight. So we will show you tonight the fireworks. But for now, we have a place to to, uh, to ding a dock. With a hell of a ramp waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super low tide. Get over these tides. Super low tide now. Yeah. So yesterday when we came, we were at high tide, and all of this were full of water. It's just so different. Okay, let's go look for the parade. <laughs> The people already started claiming their stakes or stake their claim or what do you call it? Because over there on that platform there, the harbor, the place where we cannot dinghy dock, that's where the fireworks is going to be. Just behind this white tent. There's a little red tent. I just check him out, they're already <laughs> sitting here. And the flags is here. Chinese stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure this is made in, and this is made in US. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they have a lot of places here. Get a spice in a restaurant. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be possible. Oh my goodness. A big rush. Pietro is in heaven. Just look at all of those choices. 
lots of potatoes, lots of onions, just lots of choices. And this stuck here looking at cheeses. We are on Bar Island. So we went a long line <laughs> and then the anchor full of rocks. It's going to get high tide. The water is coming up all the way to the anchor. So let's see what will happen when we come back. Petru is testing out our new walking shoes. No more flip flops. Yeah. I still have my Jury Slim tackies. Oh, well, at least they bottle openers. Yeah, and I do have bottle openers. Look and at that. I just need uh, a bottle of beer. <laughs> so, are you ready? Let's go check out the bar. Is it bar harbor? Well, bar there's Bar Harbor. Harbor, then there's a bar, yeah, there's a bar, and I think that's why, it's not a beer bar, that's the, oh, is that the sand bar? it's the rock bar or the sand, it's not really a sand bar, and I think then around the sand bar they call it Bar Harbor, and I think this is the, the island that connects the bar and the main island, desert island, and I think that's why they call it Bar Island. So there's Bar Harbor, the Bar, and a Bar Island. It always fascinates me why people want to put some rocks on top of each other. Yeah, but it's like everyone is doing it. So the guy that actually started used to make like a whole thing, like an arch. Yeah. That was amazing. He built an arch. Yeah. And it, it, it just balances. You know the, the concept of an arch. It doesn't concave. Yeah. But he actually does it with rocks. Okay, so it's called Arcadia National Park. Loud and clear. And you can even download the Thai table. You can see it. So no excuses. This looks so cool. We're going to walk in the woods. <laughs> the last time we did was this in Sanin in, in South Africa. There was a tall trees. No, we did it in Turkey. Oh yes, we went for a hike in Turkey as well. Oh yeah. Nice day, few times. That. So you all my witness. Frick is on a hike. Already sweating. <laughs> Warning number three. No excuse for getting caught. Oh, which way to go? We've got a fork in the road. Our island trial. Okay, so the path is becoming more rocky and rocky, the steeper we go. Thank goodness for my new shoes. And my flip-flops, I would have died. But we're hanging in here. It looks like we've reached the summit. And somebody made sure it was a summit. So we came prepared <coughs> to the summit, which is over there. We have 
And now we take it back with us. But they're empty. <laughs> they are empty, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Never put a, a full can back in a bag. Oh, that's thinking backwards, eh? That's not progress. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, now we think we're alone now. I think we're alone now. So There's nobody uh, around us to. The, the pilot can fly his drone down between the trees. I said, Stephanie. Breakfast. I think we're alone oh, now. No. <laughs> Nothing else but the beating of our hearts.